Hey guys, welcome back to Automation Elon. Guys, there are two types of version control systems are available to use. One is client server version control system and another one is distributed version control system. So in this video, I will discuss and highlight the core difference between these two types of version control systems with the help of practical examples. So these are the topics that we are going to discuss in this video. First, we'll talk about what is client server or centralized version control and then we'll talk about distributed version control system and we will understand what is the difference in working flow of these two version controls and we'll talk about examples of each version control. In a typical client server architecture, there is one server and many clients which are connected to the server. Similarly, in a client server version control system, which is also known as centralized version control system, there is a one server and many clients. So client can be developer or automation engineers who connect with the server and perform the tasks. To explain this, I have taken this image from the Google. Here we have a multiple clients, workstation 1, workstation 2, workstation 3 and all these clients, all these workstations are connected to central repository. To understand the flow with the help of practical example, consider Tom joined a new organization or new project in the same organization and his team is already using subversion as a version control. So as soon as Tom start working on a project where he has to modify few code files, first he will connect with the repository which is the server here and he pull the files which he need to modify. So one thing here we need to make a note of is he is using subversion. So he will pull or download the files from the server which he needs to work on. He will not download the complete repository rather he will only pull or download the files which he needs to update. Let's say he needs to fix a bug and he changes few files to fix it. Once he is done with the code change, he will merge the changes to the server considering conflicts. So he got to fix these conflicts. He needs to get the latest changes from the server on his machine where the conflicts are and fix the conflicts and merge the changes. So it's pretty straightforward approach having three major steps. Step 1. Get the files from the server and make the changes. Get the latest again to resolve the conflicts and request for merge. So this is client server version control because there is a server that contains the repository and many clients are there which are connected to the server. For every operation in the centralized version control system, clients need to connect to the server because client machines are having the required files and rest everything is on the server. So this is the standard flow in client server version control or centralized version control system. One server, many clients and while working client need to be connected with the server all the time to perform operation. And there are few examples of centralized version control system. CVS and Subversion are the popular known centralized version control systems. Now let's talk about distributed version control system. So distributed version control system, this is not an exclusive feature of Git. There are other distributed version control systems around, but Git is the most popular one that most of us are using nowadays. Let's see what Tom has been up to. He just moved to another project in the same company and this other project is using git. Let's understand what does he need to do differently this time. The first difference between client server version control and distributed version control system comes immediately the moment that Tom connects to the project repository. In distributed version control system, client or workstation or Tom, he does not just connect to the repository but he does something called a clone. So there is a clone command for that and by using git clone command, Tom copies the entire repository to his machine. So using git clone, Tom will download the complete repository from the server to his local machine. 
he will download all of it the project history including the latest commits and current files in the project so now tom has his own repository in his local machine and he can make any changes he wants in his local repository he can create commits branches check out earlier version of the project or anything else he wants at any point in time he wants to synchronize his changes with the changes from the rest of the team in a distributed system even though he has his own repository which is this one which is on tom's local machine tom maintain a link to the shared repository that is called remote in git terminology or in distributed version control system so there is always a linking between remote repository and tom's local repository once he is done with the changes he has additional commands to get the latest commit from the remote repository to his local repository so git pull is the command by which tom can get the latest changes from the remote repository and download it to local repository and just like client server version control tom might have to resolve conflicts during these operations so as i mentioned earlier in that case he will do git pull first to get the changes from the remote repository then merge those changes with his local changes the local modification that he has done on his local machine and finally push his local changes to the shared remote repository so that is the flow in distributed version control systems so one of the advantage is pretty clear that is he can still work with the version control even when he disconnected from the remote server that is a very big advantage in distributed version control systems though he cannot share code with the rest of the teams but he can still create commits check out branches move back and forth in the history and so on that is the nice feature with distributed version control systems it also removes the single point of failure unlike central repository so the best known examples of distributed version control systems are git and mercurial both of these are open source so guys that was the small discussion about these two different types of version control systems to summarize the difference in central version control systems or client server version control systems there is a remote repository client needs to connect to the repository to perform any operation all the time whereas in distributed version control system client can download the remote repository and he can make a local copy of the repository and he can perform all the operations all the code modification in his local repository and once done then he can make a request to merge his changes to remote repository in this case client don't need to be connected to remote repository all the times so that is the major difference in the next video i'll talk about what are the different benefits of these two types of version control systems so there are few benefits of client server version control system and there are few benefits of distributed version control system as well so we will do benefit comparison in the next video i hope guys the discussion is very useful and you understood the difference between these two please do let me know in case of any questions or any doubts and guys if you are new to the channel please subscribe to the channel and share it with your friends thank you for reading this one thank you